So this is really teeny tiny, but that's what's catching the fish today. What is going on, Dar Sizzle Nation? I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are fishing in our backyard, and you guys know we have caught a lot of big fish back here, but there's also a lot of little fish, and I know a lot of you guys are into micro fishing and like to see the micro fish and whatnot, and I know there's bait back here, and I know there's a lot of exotics and micro fish. So today we are using little baby tiny hook, micro hook, and like six pound test, and I'm trying to see what kind of species I can catch in an hour. That's right guys, we are coming at you directly from a sewer grate at the end of my property. Now Darcy had caught a practice bluegill before, but now, of course, the camera's on and you're watching, she can't catch can't anything. Fish. <laughs> Maybe she can get me to fish again. I am like... Another reason we're here is because remember the last video when we went fishing with Crazy Craig? You know, we've caught, they caught like 13 inches of fish, <laughs> as I said. But we came back here and I, we caught like two bass in like 15 minutes. So we were like, again, we drove all the way down there and then catching the fish and we just good fishing right here. Yeah. Uh, and also that kid, what was that kid's name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah, he said he caught a bunch of fish and he outfished us too. Yeah, with bread. So a uh, new thing is the, the, the less you drive, the more fish there is. RC has been chumming the water. I, yeah. What are you chumming with? I'm chumming with fish a food? of fish food, yeah, like fish pellets and bread. Breaking up some bread. I don't know, I feel like it's a super secret operation, but we're laughing and whispering at the same time. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. But there's peacock bass back here, and there's fish, and there's a lot, of the, the water level's really high today too, so I don't know, that might be a good sign that fish have moved in here. I really don't know, but I'm just hoping for the best. Catch a fish already, woman. <laughs> All right? Enough talking, catch fish. Jump, 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 jump. Now, if we do ca actually catch any fish, any micro fish, we're gonna put them in this fancy vase. All right, I got a fishy. Micro fishy is a little bluegill. Check them out. On a piece of bread, pretty simple. You can get this little baby hook out. Awesome. So now we gotta see if we can get some more. Hopefully a different species or something cool. Whoa. Our new pet bass, don't jump back in the water. I mean, our new pet bass. Our new bluegill. All right, he was too small for the vase. I mean, too big for the vase. Put him in the bucket as an aerator, don't worry. Woo, fish number two. All right, whoa, I almost just dropped that. Cool, guys, all right, so I just caught an Oscar. Look how pretty he is. Actually, that might be, I think that's an Oscar, but did you see the colors and the spots? He's like got like little light blue to him. He's so pretty. Well, I'm gonna get this hook out and then show you the colors of them. But now we got another micro fish. Awesome. All right, so pretty, pretty little Oscar. They're pretty cute when they're uh, little juveniles. But into the live well he goes. Fish on! This guy's a little aggressive. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he's trying to run to the wall. Oh, he's all lit up. Cool. We got another Oscar, guys. This one's a little bigger. I hooked him right in the corner of the mouth that time too. Perfect. Oh, look how pretty he is. Awesome. Oscars get a little bigger than that too, but they're they're found all throughout here down in South Florida in our freshwater canal system. And um, they are just, they eat anything, I think. I think they eat live bait, they eat your bread, they eat any pretty much anything you put in your water besides lures and you know worms and artificials like that. But you can catch them on bread or anything else, hot dogs. Cool. We're gonna throw them into our tank. Throw them in a tank, and then tomorrow we can throw them in the spillway. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I think we can do that, right? Yeah. Sweet. I switched it up to some hot dog. Oops, I got another line here. Whoa, that's a monster bluegill. Look at this thing. He is giant. Check him out, though. He looks really cool. Look at this, though. Maybe he's something different. What is that? That's like a weird, weird uh, gill plate there. I've never really seen that before, but there's like a dark spot there, which is supposed to be looking like their eye to a predator. Let me just get that turned around. But he is still really pretty, but I guess the predator would target that and that's part of his gill plate. That's pretty neat. Look at that thing. Wow. Cool. Into the wide well he goes. So we are catching 
two species of fish now, micro fishing. And guys, I'm using six pound test. Oops. Oh my gosh, another fish jumped out. <laughs> That's the little bluegill. And you can see the little dot right there on him too. Pretty neat. But we are micro fishing with six pound test. We've caught two different species. And I'm using a little dry fly hook, which is like, it's for fly fishing. And it's called dry hook, size 12. So this is really teeny tiny. But that's what's catching the fish today. Kind of getting overrun by animals around here. Yes. <laughs> Bubba's eating all the bait. Bubba wants all the bait. <laughs> and Darcy, if you guys know anything about ducks, you don't feed the ducks. Darcy started feeding the ducks. Well, Not today, months ago, but they don't give up, you know. Yeah. And yeah, it seems like the bait works better for Bubba versus, versus the god versus the damn fish. Er, that was a bad word. Versus the freaking fish. <laughs> Gosh, I guess I need to get Bubba hot dogs for dinner now. I'll take some hot dogs. I know you will. What the heck are you doing? Stalking a peacock bass. I was just honestly trying to get him frustrated enough to where he's gonna actually hit my lure. But he is there, I know you can't see him right now, but he's there and this tree is holding these fish here because of the structure and that's from Hurricane Irma. So it's kind of like our own little peacock bass haven now. But now it's just like impossible to try and catch them because even if I do hook him, he's gonna go right back into all these branches and stuff. So I don't even know why I'm trying it, but he has swiped at my lure time and time again and I just haven't hooked them. So I don't know. I decided to mess around with that and see what would happen. So let's I'm try over here. Luck. Okay, let's go try. Bubba's coming. Oh! I got you, I got you. He freaking nailed that thing as soon as it hit. Oh, he got a bass. Oh, he got hooked weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That was awesome. I just cast it all the way across on the very edge of the bank in a spot where like I knew there would be fish and he hit it before I even like had a chance to actually to, to walk the lure. All right, one fish for me and four exotics. Well, four micro fish. Uh, Dave. Yes, Bedell across the canal. I got a lure stuck in your dock. Would you mind? Oh, thanks bro. It's right over here, man. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it's over here on the bulkhead. So we were good friends with the widows over here for a long time. And uh, they're getting my lure. You see it? I think I over... Should be able to see my line. Sweet. Thanks, bro. Yep. Appreciate it. <laughs> good stuff, man. You saved me 10 bucks. Saved me 10 bucks. Yeah, guys, and that's actually a lure from one of you guys, one of our fans who sent us that in the fan mail. So we just received, we just retrieved it, thanks to Dave across the street, our neighbor. But uh, yeah, so now we didn't lose it, thanks to Brian. He or else he was gonna lose it and pop it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting dark now. We gotta go back to our other spot. It was really dark outside, so we had to come in and stop fishing. But I think we Plus were. the bugs. Yeah, the bugs are terrible, but the wind, we had a lot of wind too, so the wind keeps the bugs away from me, which is good. But um, yeah, it just got too dark, we couldn't see out there anymore, but it was fun micro fishing, and you know, I just want to say like, you know, you don't need all these expensive fancy lures and expensive rods and reels, you can just use a simple Zeb Zebco setup from like, Walmart or what? Or like, Star the Star, like the Star Wars one, it's I Zebco. think Carl gave us. Yeah, yeah. Carl, yeah, one of our fans sent us that Zebco rod and reel, so thank you very much. But you don't need fancy things, guys. Just go out there with a little hook and a piece of bread and you'll catch fish. You know, and it was cool catching those different species out there. Um, so, anyways, that's, you know, hopefully you guys can get out there and do that with your family. That's something easy to do, and you're almost, like, guaranteed to catch fish on bread. I don't know what it is, yeah, but... hot dogs, too. Yeah, and hot dogs, too. I don't know what it is, but fish love it. So, yeah, once again, guys, you know, you can fish on a budget and catch a lot of fish and have a blast. So, we You can did... dream big or you can dream small. Yes, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun out there, and I think we have to do some micro-fishing, saltwater fishing. I think that would be cool. We'll catch a lot of little fish and we know where there's a lot of little fish in shore. So that should be fun. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We have new videos coming out every single day. Sorry we missed a couple days there, but we were busy. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.